rises around since 2007. Now there are 22 full-time employees and at full throttle more than 100 freelancers. Uh, we have offices in Berlin, Stuttgart, uh, Cologne and Vienna. We, we started doing uh, mostly set extension work, matte paintings and, and then some CG buildings uh, when they were required. But then over the years uh, we switched into doing more effects work and that uh, grew much bigger when we did the switch to Houdini. So currently I would say half of the work that we're doing is actual effects work like uh, blowing up buildings or also magical effects. I think the man from Uncle was really big because um, we really expanded on our pipeline development there and we, that's the first one we actually used Houdini for lighting and shading exclusively. Yeah, we just uh, finished our work on Captain America Civil War and I think that was a huge milestone for us because we had such a variety of effects, so volumetrics, pyro, rigid bodies and even crowd. Uh, yeah, but with the flexibility of Houdini and some clever people using it, uh, it was possible to manage it all in time and looking really nice. Yeah, I think the, the latest Captain America Civil War was definitely um, uh, the biggest we did on producing a number of uh, effects work, but also uh, animation, really close digital doubles, crowd animation. Um, so that went really well and I think we can really be proud of that. Yeah, so we are using Houdini as our core tool in the pipeline. Uh, I mean, the digital asset system of Houdini is really flexible and allowed us to customize nearly every step. So from asset creation, shading, lighting, setting up the effect scenes and then rendering everything in the end with Mantra. We are using Mantra to render whole shots, of course. We render everything through Mantra. Um, uh, the good thing is that you can uh, render uh, volumes and surfaces, uh, hard surfaces all together, like you get proper cutouts, of course. Um, yeah, I really like Houdini because it's really flexible. You always have the possibility to dig in deeper. There's never the, the moment where you think, uh, now uh, I'm looking at a black box, I, I cannot do anything more. And uh, also that all the different parts of Houdini are in the same program, they talk all to each other. Uh, it's not like the plugin for rigid bodies, another plugin for uh, water. Everything can interact with each other. So that that makes it so flexible, and uh, that, that you can customize everything. So there's never the moment where you uh, you think, yeah, now I'm stuck. It's just really everything you can kind of think of is kind of possible in Houdini. You kind of just have to figure out how to do it. But there's no, there's definitely no limitation from the software itself which is something you often run to in other packages.